take a technique off of a forehand attack where we hit the hand, check. Maybe we get a quick disarm in as we hit and we can start with our armpit lever, an arm and neck lever, try to punyo and then go into an arm bar. So we want to take that, but now we would like to do that out of flow. So if we put it inside of a drill, and now we're trying to look for that spot where we might be able to make those things happen. And now he's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna look for that spot off one. Go on the on neck and on bar. Nice. And we can do it off a different flow. And same thing. Off a different flow. Disarm. Pit. Neck. And Nice. And there's that one. This arm. Now, why are we practicing a series of takedowns? So when Jared gets back to the one, he's going to disarm. Boom. He's practicing that armpit, the arm and neck, and the arm bar. And a lot of reasons for that might be because when we're at that position, I might go for this one and he might push my hand down. Oh, okay, then I can come back. And now I'm into something else. He might try to find that on the one. And again, maybe that one's not there, so he comes for the over the arm one. Yeah, exactly. Boom, and then he could take down there. Maybe neither of those are available. And so when I get here, I go right for the puño and the arm bar. So we learn them in the flow so that you can pick which one you see might be available during that moment in time, because it's always gonna be a little different compared to where your stick is. My sticks down here, I might be able to go for this one. But if it's pushed a little bit outside, I might have to go for this one. And if it's all the way back here to the inside, I might have to go for that punyo. So it's where your stick is, not necessarily which one you want. You gotta look for what's in the flow.